hey guys, how's it going? This is Reggie. Notice the big ass glasses. That's right. So, um, first of all, morning. It's it's kind of chilly, but it's gonna heat up pretty soon. Um, these th sunglasses, they're the uh, uh, Oakley Prism Polarized Ruby Sapphire color um, sunglasses. So I've always been a fan of Oakleys because um, they, they they make the styles that I like. Um, and uh, I started when they didn't have polarized, which was, you know, pretty cool. Then I was a big fan of their polarized, because that was pretty sick. And then my buddy Alan had um, prism polarized. And I was like, what the hell is a prism polarized lens? And then I tried it. Oh, my God. All right. So the best way to describe it is this. Um, and I'm going to use a television as an example. So we have always had a dumb TV, right, in the past. We've always had dumb TVs. Um, and not saying anything bad about dumb TV, but we had a dumb TV. It was a 240 hertz. No, I'm sorry. A 120 hertz, right? Non-HDR, non-4K. Then we upgraded to a 4K TV, 240 hertz, HDR, 4K, um, smart TV. And holy smokes, like um, watching HDR content on the TV is better than watching real life in person. It, it's hard to explain, but you have to see HDR to understand what I'm saying. It looks better than real life. I don't know how the fuck that's possible. Like, how is it possible to make real life look better in HDR? It, huh? There's no CGI being used. But anyway, that, that's the best way to describe it. The, putting on these sunglasses makes everything become HDR. It's insane. Like right now, oh my god, the sun glare is so bad. Sorry guys. Um, right now I'm wearing it. And everything looks so vivid and so crisp and color is vibrant. It's like you're on, on some kind of um, drug. Seriously, I mean that's what it looks like. Uh, for anybody, anybody who wants to see what drug, drug users see but don't want to take the drugs, just buy these sunglasses and this is perfect, you know. This is what druggies will see when they're high and this is what you're gonna see but at least you won't be high it's insane the colors are so incredible so the brighter it gets the more vivid it gets and it doesn't and, and i don't mean like um the colors are bright where it hurts your eyes or looks distorted or anything like that it's just the greens look greener the the um reds look redder like it just it, it makes the colors show as it should but you take the sunglasses off and you're like oh that's very dull it's very very dull and um like the colors are washed out when you are not wearing the sunglasses when you put them on the colors pop as if that's how they were intended to be insane right sunglasses a freaking sunglasses that can do that that's 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 insane i highly highly recommend prism polarized uh, this is the ruby one. I'm gonna look for the uh, the sapphire one. Uh, I think that's the one that's the bluish one, uh, sapphire. Um, so that's what I'm looking for now. I'll link it in the description which one I have and which one my buddy has. Uh, I got this bottle for pretty cheap. Plus I got a big ass head, so you know the, the, this one is pretty big as you can see. Um, so on my big ass head, it wor it works. So yeah, so that's very nice. Uh, I'm loving this. Um, so. That was not the point of this vlog, though. But I'm just so excited about this. The other thing... Okay, so the main reason why I'm making this one is... My car is getting fixed. Okay, so let me start off like this. So the Hyundai um, dealership... Um, Sacramento Hyundai, by the way. Shout out to Daryl from Sacramento Hyundai. You are freaking amazing, okay? It was because of him that all this is happening. So um, he called me up. He's like, hey, you're actually, you know, just want to let you know that um, I'm going to give you an update. I'm like, okay... So, he's like, yeah, Hyundai Corporation has, has uh, agreed to go ahead and fix up the, the car, the engine, uh, and, you know, we will take care of you. And, and as soon as he said that, I'm like, holy shit. Like, you gotta be shitting me, man. You, you, no way. Like, is this a joke? Is this a dream? What's going on? Like, and he's like, no, I understand. And I'm like, no, you, no, you don't, because I've been stressing. I have been stressing my ass off um, the last week, all of last week. You know, all the bad news that I've been having and all the bad luck. Oh, 
So, so he said, no, don't worry, I'm gonna take care of you. And Hyundai also took care of my rental. So I have rental for, I don't know, two, three weeks now, which they're taking care of. Fuck my life, man. Not, that is customer service, you know? I mean, yeah, I had to do my part. I had to contact them, I had to let them know. I had to kind of bug them. I understand, you know? They didn't just say, hey, Reggie, we'll take care of everything without you doing anything. I had to get involved. I'm gonna say that out right now. I had to get involved. I had to get on social media. I had to, I had to call the customer service. I had to email the consumer affairs. I had to post on customer service saying, hey, you know, this is what's going on. Why is this happening? Blah, blah, blah. I kind of had to put them on a little bit of blast, you know, on social media just to kind of get the ball rolling. Um, but they, that was it. Like, I didn't have to, um, uh, I didn't have to keep going and pester them and all that bullshit like I had to do with other companies. That's it. That's all I had to do. They contacted me. I gave them the VIN number. And then from that point on, Carlos... Thank you, Carlos. Uh, he was the Hyundai agent for also taking care of me. I appreciate it, man. Carlos and Daryl, thank you guys. He contacted me. He was getting me updates. Daryl keeps me giving me updates. Uh, they contacted Hyundai. They, I told, I got my tow, uh, my car towed over to Hyundai dealership. And then once all that was done, they checked it out and they said, "Yep, that engine is messed up, man. You need to, you need to replace that engine. It's time to go." And the cost. If I had to do it myself, the cost to replace the hybrid engine, ten thousand dollars. You've got to be fucking kidding me, right? Like the guy Daryl was like, "Man, Reggie, you are one lucky sob," and I'm like, "No shit, man." So, yeah, I am. I'm on cloud nine this week. Everything has been going smoothly. Everything has been going perfectly. Everything is going. Amazing, like I think <clears throat> it's just a total flip. Last week was the shittiest week of my life, and this week is the happiest week of my life. Everything is just perfect, man. I can't, I can't, I can't ask for anything more. Uh, actually, I can't. Please keep this week going all of the rest of the year. You know, <clears throat> yeah. So I just want to let you guys know that everything is progressing. I don't even give a shit how long Hyundai takes to fix the engine. You know. I really am not. I, they gave me a rental, so I'm I'm happy coming back and forth to work and home. Um, so take a time. Fuck, take a month, two months, three months. I don't care, man. Um, you guys are taking care of me. That's all I care about. So I am. I, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm surprised. Um, and at the same time, it makes me want to become. Well, not want to, but I'm definitely going to be um, preaching or not preaching. I'm definitely going to be, um, what's the word? God, I can't even think now. I will be talking about Hyundai in a very positive manner. Let's put it that way. If people ask about Hyundai, I will tell them how I feel. And it is all positive. There is absolutely nothing negative I can think about. Yes, the value, the resale value of a Hyundai is crap. I, yes, I mean, almost every car is except for a Toyota and Alexis, right? But the customer service, what matters? I mean, I can't believe they waived <clears throat> and 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 did that for me, you know. That, that that goes above and beyond what customer service should be. This is insane. So I cannot talk smack about that car, or the product, or the brand. These guys are amazing. Um, I'm actually, I don't know. I might look into a next Hyundai. I don't know, but it has to be a sporty one. No more hybrids, for the love of God. No, I I need I need something. I need I need to, I need sporty. I need. I need to be involved with the drive, not bored out of it. Nothing against this hybrid, but I've had a hybrid for long enough. I'm kind of done with hybrids. I want a sporty car. But Hyundai, thank you um, from all of my family. Thank you. You guys, you have no idea, man. No idea the stress I was at. And you guys just changed it just like that. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot. Now, guys, if you guys have any good good experiences with any company any company at all um you know post it down below let me know what you think or let, let me know uh how it was what it was what happened and how you guys you know how you guys like them now like have you guys used them again um i'll definitely be recommending hyundai um i've become like the advertisement for free let's say um because of how they how they did 
So like, comment, you know, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm in a happy mood, man. Uh, I have been in a happy mood this whole week. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.